Are people still buying Harley Davidson motorcycles? Stay with us because that is the question we want to answer. Hello, everybody. Hello, Cycle Drag Universe. Welcome back to our coverage of the 84th annual Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. I'm Jack Corpella, and I hope you watched my last video where I explained some of the criticism, some of the controversy going on involving Harley Davidson right now. It's getting loud on social media like a lot of things do. But what I wanted to see is is that carrying over to lack of sales for Harley Davidson? Well, here in Sturgis, the biggest dealer is the Black Hills Harley Davidson dealer. Look at this selection of motorcycles. So I wanna find out, are people really ditching Harley or is this movement a lot louder than what actuality really is? Let's go find out. It's a good opportunity for Black Hills Harley Davidson to sell a whole lot of motorcycles too. Take a look at this inventory. Wow, look at all these motorcycles. Impressive inventory for sure, no doubt about that. Pleased to be joined with my friend Greg here. Greg, I recognize you because you are a traveling salesman. You also work out of Daytona, right? I do, yes. Very, very cool. So we're covering this story. We're trying to be as factually correct as we can. We want to know, are you seeing Harley's move here at Sturgis? Are you selling them? Yes, we're selling a lot of bikes. It's Definitely. Amazing. I mean, if you look over there, we're at 594 bikes so far for the rally. Um, we're in line to set up for the third most of any rally here in Sturgis. That's amazing. So, yeah, we actually got a record day with 84 bikes on the 84th rally. You're breaking records. That's pretty impressive. That's great yes. for the motorcycle industry. Sometimes, too, I can tell you that a lot of these things that we see on social media and a lot of these causes, they can be overblown. The yes, noise can, can get very, very loud. And what's reality can be quite a bit different. I equate it to Bud Light last year. A lot of people were talking about that. I still see a lot of people drinking Budweiser products. We, um, there's a cooler of it back there and people ask for it all day. <laughs> All right, so the love for the brand is still there. 584 so far. Where does that put us? 594. 5, 594. We just keep yeah, on going right up. There. All right, so where does that where does that place us in terms of a typical Sturgis route? Um, generally, it's in between five and seven. I think 721 was the highest. Um, if we get over 600, we'll be third for all time. Wow. Here, definitely. Are you seeing a lot of trades? Lots of trades. So a lot of people will ride to Sturgis and then decide to upgrade to a newer Harley Davidson. Yes, even wow. at the Daytona rally. We're getting a lot of great trades in, especially here at the Sturgis rally. Um, people love the new bikes. They're buying them and they're actually trading in bikes that they love with lots of work on them. So yeah, we're getting good trades. Are you hearing any chatter about the controversy? Are people talking about it here? Yeah, but the people talking about it aren't buying. So, you know, they just, you're always going to find the haters and somebody that wants to argue with you. So. Tell them to have a great day. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm stay out of the political crowd. Well, that's me too, and that was my point on the last video. That I, I think that you know we're going we're going to perhaps see some changes. We're going to see some backlash, but I think by and large, a brand this iconic, it has such a following. Where else are you going to go if you want an American motorcycle? Hey, yeah, yeah. you got a few other options out there, but there are so many dyed in the wool Harley fans. I just don't see this thing changing. There is, and people say that the young kids aren't buying them. I sold to a 22 year old young man yesterday. And this is his third Harley Davidson and his first brand new one. He's super excited. All his friends are loving the bike. So the younger crowd is definitely getting into him too. And he bought a road glide. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot, Greg. I hope you yes. have a safe trip Thank back. You. Will we see you at Bike Toberfest? Definitely. Excellent, Daytona. All right, now I'm gonna put you on the spot. I'm gonna okay. ask you, I told you no controversial questions. Here comes one controversial question. Bike, Daytona Bike Week or Sturgis? Which one? Would you rather go to and why if you can only pick one? This one because they get to ride 4,000 miles to get here. Wow, I wasn't expecting you to say that as the hometown guy. I love both of them. If you twisted my arm, more of a Daytona Bike Week guy, but I love them both. So. But when you live there and you've seen it your whole That's life, true. Yeah. go see one a little bit different and get the rides in the mountains. But I love Daytona Beach. I'll be there and I've always been there. I've noticed when you grow up at the beach, the beach isn't so is exciting. I grew up in the snow of Pittsburgh, so I still love yeah, the beach. But Exactly. <laughs> Good stuff, Same man. Thing. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Good luck. They're trying to break a record. You hear it. Harley selling, at least here in Sturgis. Come down and see us.
the deal. Heck of a deal. I might do it. You gonna do it? I'm thinking about it. I want a Harley soft tail and you ever heard of the Cholo styles or whatever where they got the dirty tail that comes yeah. down and swoops? Yeah. That's the style I want. And this is as close as you're gonna get before buying it from a second. It, it looks like it's a fresh trade in. Mm -hmm. Somebody probably rode it here, traded it in. What's your name, sir? Caden. And where are you from? I'm from right here in Rapid City, oh, right here. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, nice so I gotta ask you this. You're obviously looking for Harley. We're talking about, are some people staying away from Harley? Are they mad at Harley? Clearly that's not you. Tell me a little bit about your thoughts. Honestly, a bike's a bike, whatever you have fun riding on. If you like a Harley, you like Yamaha, Kawasaki, you ride what you want to ride, honestly. And the hate, just ride together. I don't care about the hate, a bike's a bike. Well, have you been following the latest story where Harley is accused of going quote unquote woke? Mm, no, I've never heard of that. I, I guess I don't pay attention to it. So. You know what, and, and that's awesome. I, I'm glad I interviewed you because this is the truth. A lot of people don't even know about that story right now. So yeah. very cool, man. Hey, I wish you all the best. Cycle Drag is where you can find this. Gotcha. And uh, good luck with your bike purchase. Okay, you have a good one, man. Guys, that's a great on the spot interview and that is a point that I uh, need to drive home to everybody that uh, not everybody is really following this story. Not everybody even knows about this story. A lot of people just, he thought that I was simply just talking about how Harley's been dogged over the years. If you're a sport bike guy, if you're, you know, Yamaha, Kawasaki, Suzuki guy, but totally unaware of the story. So pretty interesting guys, this is the boots on the ground factual report and again, I don't have a dog in the fight, not a Harley owner, not sponsored by Harley, like I said, I like all motorcycle manufacturers, I love two wheels. Here's what I'm finding from a lot of people, not necessarily mad at the motor company, more so mad at the executives that run it and the business decisions that have been taking place, but because this brand is so strong, I think it's superseding that, I think it's trumping all of that, people still want to ride Harleys. Well, sir, nice to meet you. What is your name? Lane Nickerson. Where are you from? North Platte, Nebraska. Very, very cool. So just taking a little survey here, talking to people. We've heard a lot. Are you mad at Harley? I'm mad at him, but I'm not going to change brands what I ride. You know, I think that's an overriding theme, that people are maybe a little upset with some of the decisions, but it's not going to – people are – I, People told me to come down here and see if everybody's trading in their Harley and walking away with nothing. Nope, nope. I'm a trade and keeping Harleys. I like Harleys. <laughs> Any desire to go to Indian? I looked at Indians, but I still like the Harleys. I, even, I did go over there yesterday just to look at them, but I'm a Harley fan. Always will be. So no matter what those executives do, you love your Harleys, right? I love the Harleys still, Awesome, yes. man. Yeah. Well, what a unique opportunity here, too, with all these trades seems like there's a lot of wheeling and dealing. A lot of people ride the bikes here, ride away with a new one. What are you looking for? Uh, I'm looking for maybe a street glide. This isn't my second bike. Okay. Since I already have the Road Glide Limited. I have a Road King I'm looking to train. It's just a little small for two of us, so. Well, good stuff, yeah. man. Thanks a hey, lot. Watch your channel all the time. It's a great channel. So. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank uh, you very much. Excuse me, gentlemen. I have a quick question for everybody. Is anybody mad at Harley? Yeah. Ma yeah. Is that going to... just bought an Indian. You just bought an Indian? I did. Okay, so it, are you a long-time Harley owner? Yeah. So we are seeing some people switch to Indian. Well, I still got my Harley, but yeah, I'm a little pissed off at it. Okay, okay. How about you guys? Still going to keep the Harleys? I'm an Indian guy. I never had Indian guy. How about you? I'm still riding my Harley. Still, so you're a little upset, but you're still going to ride? Yep. I'm waiting. To, I'm feeling them all. Yeah, see what's happening. See what happens next. Yeah. I think that's what's important. I'm probably going to buy an Indian. Probably gonna buy an Indian, okay, how about you? I'm gonna keep mine for a bit, yeah. Keep it for a bit. Well, guys, thanks so much. Where are you guys all from? Michigan. 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 Michigan, all right, thank you guys. You're on Cycle Drag. We rode all the way here. Go you guys are awesome. Anybody thinking about trading in men? I see there's a lot of trades over yeah, there. That, that. That's a kind of cool thing to do. Ride to stir, just leave with a new bike. If I'd have brought my street glide, I'd probably have traded it. How about that? Well, thank you very Indian. much. <laughs> do appreciate it, how about that? Interesting viewpoint there, guys, and I didn't mention this in my other video. I think this could be an opportunity for Indian. I really do. I don't know if any of the other manufacturers will benefit from this. I really don't see it. I don't see a lot of Harley loyalists going to trade in their Harley on a Suzuki Boulevard or anything like that. I don't see metric B-Twins benefiting from this, but perhaps that long-standing Harley-Indian rivalry could see another chapter.
All here with Mike Maloney, Black Hills Harley Davidson. Great to see you, man. Just got a, a question for you. I want to know what are you seeing? Are you seeing a slowdown? Are you seeing an uptick, a downtick? What is this year's rally look like? Sturgis is a one of a kind of event for bikers across the country. They come here because we've got great riding, we've got great products. Uh, we had a great, uh, great year. Um, our product selection was huge. Uh, vendors were packed. We had more vendors than we've ever had before. Um, so people know that while they're in town for Sturgis, they got to come to Black Hills Harley and the rally at exit 55 because uh, this is the place to be when you're in town and you love Harleys and you love being on two wheels. So is it safe to say what you're seeing here is pretty much on par with all the rallies you've seen in yeah. terms of attendance and everything? Yeah, we had we had a great rally and like I said, people know to come here because we've got the vendors and, um, and the selection of, of everything that we offer. So uh, we had a great rally, great traffic and uh, excited to have everybody back next year for the 85th. Good luck to you guys. Yeah. Congratulations. Right. Thank Thanks you. for the info. Yeah. We have an update. We're now at 599. Looking to break six here real soon. And by all accounts, that's a strong rally. 600 bikes, right? Yes. Wow, guys. How about it? How you doing, ma'am? What's your name? My name is Marjorie. My riding name is Fury. Well, congratulations. I understand you met your quota here this week. I certainly did. I'm Right now, I'm sitting at like 47 bikes. Wow. Quota was 40. This is my fifth year up here. So would you consider this a pretty successful rally? I love this rally. I'm literally staying two extra days to help them. I could have gone sightseeing instead. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sturgis, at least not at Black Hills, Harley Davidson, because by all accounts, a very, very successful rally. 600 motorcycles. Oh, they love it. They love it. Business is good over here for sure. We're just bringing you the truth of what's really going on. If Harley's going to suffer a big downfall, they're certainly not. Here. 600. Well, there you go, guys. 600 motorcycles. If Harley's suffering any kind of penalty, they're not suffering it here in the Black Hills. thought of perhaps a great comparison to you guys let me know what you think about this one so many of us and all of our families I know my family we end up being divided politically which is why you never want to bring these topics up during Thanksgiving dinner even though sometimes that happens but what happens when you're divided politically there may be some nasty arguments there may be some talk there may be some chatter but very few of us disown our family and I think the love is that strong for Harley that no matter what people think about the messaging I don't think they're disowning their V-twin. Very nice to meet you. What are your names? Uh, VJ. And? BC. From? Uh, currently residing in Indianapolis, Indiana. Very cool. Good place to be. Racing country. Yep. So I got a question for you. Are you guys upset with Harley? Are you mad at Harley? I'm not mad at Harley. I am disappointed in some of the directions that they've been taking um, and some of the issues they've been backing. But as Harley as a company, I understand business is business. And but I wish they would probably reevaluate some of their some of their projects and, and get back to what's really important, the riders and the, and the bikes. Do you feel would prevent you from buying this motorcycle? Or are you still in the Harley market? I am still in the Harley market. Thank you guys for the input. You have a safe trip back to Indy. Right, thanks. Sir, what's your name? Greg. Where are you from? Rapid City. Ra right here. Yeah. Are you mad at Harley? No. How long have you been riding Harleys? Since 1982. Love them? Yep. Hard to, hard to do anything to fracture that brand loyalty, huh? Yep. Well, thank you for the info. Yep. So those are the facts as best as I can report them. I, my personal opinion here is, again, we're not gonna get into politics. We don't do all that on this channel, but uh, Harley, the brand loyalty is so strong. I'm not so sure they can kill it. I think there are some changes that have to be made. I know there was an email that went out to employees. You definitely have Harley's attention over all this. You certainly do. But I don't think by and large people are ditching their Harley. So I got to call out my man, the quartering. Again, love your channel. I've been watching all your videos though. But as far as Harley getting humiliated and Harley going bankrupt and out of business and all that stuff and doom and gloom, 
I don't, I don't see it happen. They'd have to do something very, very egregious, in my opinion, to even approach that level, especially when they're breaking records here in Sturgis selling motorcycles. People just want to ride at the end of the day. You can disagree with executives, but at the end of the day, it's about making yourself and your family happy. People still love Harley Davidson motorcycles. We'll see what's next. And we certainly invite you to share your thoughts, your opinions down below. Make sure you check out all of my coverage from the 84th annual rally. We got more coming as well. If you like this video, here's another one for you. Subscribe right in the middle. And you know, if there's anything fast motorcycles or rallies, we're in from Sturgis. Cycle drag rolls on.